Okay, so now that we have stitched our webbing on, we have trimmed our loose threads, we can now fold our purse in position. So we know that this side, uh, the front side is slightly shorter than the six inches. The back side is gonna be around six inches, okay? So now we're gonna fold this and we can, these little document clips come in handy. You can just hold this in place temporarily. You don't wanna leave it on too long, but we could hold it in place and measure to see where we're going with this. So we're going to be around the six inch mark. So once we have this side lined up, we should be able to just line up the other side and hold this in place. You don't need a document clip. These are handy to have. Okay. Once, when you're doing this also, you're going to want to feel underneath to see how far up your closure is because you don't want your closure to be right on the webbing. Okay, so that gives you, with this board being in this flap, it gives you a pretty fair amount of flexibility um, because it's not just, it's not up here, it's just in the flap area. So if you need to bring, push it up, you can. If you need to bring it down, you can. Okay, so we're good with that. Now we need our thread and needle. Um, I like the doll needles for this. Um, I don't usually sew by hand. If you have a machine that can handle stitching this down, then by all means do that. I, I will show you. Sure, the thread is out pretty long. I like to just put it in, lift this up. See, the, the, the challenge with this for most people who don't have a high lift is they cannot get the presser foot up high enough to stitch this. So all you're going to do, if you can do the, the presser foot, the sewing machine stitch, it's so much faster and easier this is the way I gen generally do it. I would lift that, bring my needle down, reverse, sew forward, reverse the stitch, just go back and come down to the front. And then I'm gonna lock that in again. So let's get this needle in here. your stitch, make sure you lock it in. Once that's done, you can take off your clip. And now we can lock that in. Come right out to the edge. Okay, so that's one way. But I want to show you, because not everybody has an, an, an industrial machine, I want to show you how we do it otherwise. Oops. You're just going to thread your needle fairly long. It's doubled, so you have two strands of thread. And you're just going to give it a knot at the end. Okay. We're going to start this on the inside. We are not trying to sew the foamy. We're just stitching the webbing, okay? So you're going to come from the inside
and I'm using a doll needle, D-O-L-L. -L. I like the doll needle because it's just, um, it's longer, so it it works a little better than a standard needle. You can use a standard needle, however, but it's just, it just makes some things a little simpler. Okay. And what we're going to do is zigzag. We're going to just go and you're going to side to side fairly tightly. Squeeze it together. I don't like using a sail needle for this because a sail needle is a little too broad. It's very harsh and it leaves um, a larger hole. We want it to be delicate. I can take this off. So back and forth, that's all we're going to go. Back and forth. From side to side. You also notice that I try to keep the thread looped around a finger. That would just eliminate your thread, um, the tangling of your thread. So one side will get my index finger, the other side would get my thumb. Just makes it a little easy, I think. Okay. So I'm going to finish this and I will have you join me when I get to the end so you can see how to finish it up. I've stitched over this area several times just to reinforce it. So I'm just going, I just went back and forth a few times and now it's time to tie this I'm just off. going to cut off a piece. It's about four inches, I guess. Now we're going to give it a little knot. Just cross over and under. And if we did that a couple times, I like to do it two, three times, that gives us a knot. Of course, it does. And then you're going to just cut it off at the base. So we're just going to clean up our loose stitches and then we're going to mark where we're going to put our hole to finish off our twist lock closure. We're going to mark out now where we're going to put our twist lock hole. But we have the twist in here. We need to, to cut a hole. And so we have to mark where we're going to put that hole. And there are different ways you can do it. I have found that the easiest way is to just get under here, go on each side with a pencil, and mark. I'm just going to spin and press upward. I'm going to mark this side of the twist lock, the right side. Mark the left side. And then I'm going to come from the side, let's see, come from the side, and I'm going, also going to mark on the upper portion of this. So I'm going to have three markings, and I'm going to test my markings to make sure that they line up. And the simplest way I can test it is to go just like this and see where it's going to fall in. So I have my, my markings here. And once I have those markings, I will take a 
I would take my hole puncher and I would set it right on those marks. I would use my my mallet and I'd give this about three good whacks and I would have my hole punched. Okay, so that's what we're going to do next. My hole punch is lined up and now I'm just going to give it a few good whacks. Okay, we've got a hole so now all we have to do is put our prong side from the outside. I'm going to rest this in on the inside to secure it. We'll just put that here and now we're just going to use our scissors to mash this in place. If you need a little help getting that down, bang it down. Okay, let's test it and turn. And there we have it, our twist lock. Our purse is now complete. And that's, <laughs> that's what it looks like on the inside. You see you have a fair amount of space in your bag and it looks good. It looks great actually with the suede on the inside and it's secure. What I really like about it is this flap is also firm so no matter what we stuff in our purse, no matter what we put in here, this can this can really expand. This really can get fat, but this flap will help to keep it in place. So, I hope you enjoyed this project, and I look forward to seeing you in the others.